Hi, okay, so what we're gonna do now is go back to your website and have a look at how we can start making it look a little bit more attractive and a little bit, yes, less yucky. So, back to justweb.co.uk and refresher, you know how to log in. I didn't like my password last time, so I'll do it again. There we go. Okay, so I've checked my profile, I've done some text, I've done my picture. Let's go and find my site. Okay, so we made up the Burn Grieve Buzz. I will delete this by the way, so if anyone wants that title, you're welcome to it. And this is your site. So if you ever get lost, always just go back to your dashboard. That's like your mothership. And you can do all of your posts, add your media, sort all your pages out from here. But what we're gonna do now is go to appearance and themes. Now at the moment, what we've done is install 19 themes. We might have a few more actually by the time week one of teaching comes around that you can choose from. And these are, are themes that Hadri and I have looked at and, and picked out because we think that they are good, decent, newsy looking sites. Um, so what we're going to make you do is choose one of them. But when you're choosing your theme, you need to be thinking about the sort of brand identity of your site and the kind of news website that you're going to be offering and make sure that that theme is appropriate. Remember, this is a new site and not a magazine one. So go and have a look and get some inspiration from other hyperlocal sites or other national news sites. Find something, a layout that you think works really well and off you go. So I will just pick that one for now. So you click on it. You can go live preview and that will show you what your site looks like. We've not really put very much on it so far. So there's not much content to play with. But basically, to choose that theme, we click activate. And that's going to be the layout of my site now. Okay, so that's your theme. Let's go to header. Header and background. This is your header image bit here. Yeah? And it's nice if you can put a lovely, strong, striking image on there to grab your viewer's attention. So, what we do here, add a new image, find one copyright free please, a nice header size of this pixels, and click add new image. Select files, go through all of your pictures, we'll not do any of mine now, you can see all my family photos now, which we don't really need to see. <laughs> And then obviously you select and crop. And that will add a lovely header image in there. Now it totally depends on your theme. You might be able to also add a background image, which is kind of like a big wash over the back. Or you can have a look if you customise. Normally they make you pay to customise. But you can have a look and have a play. And this is what I'd really like you to do, is have a good look here and have a tinker with all these different options. You had a image, your colours, so you can change your colour scheme. Um, you can change, let's go back in, sorry. You can, this is where site identity is, if you've decided that you just really, really don't like your title, you can change it there. You can have a separate tagline underneath it, which wraps up everything. You can have a site icon, um, which is quite cool because then you can use that for um, any affiliated Twitter account that you set up to go with it. And you could add other users as well, but I would strongly suggest for this, we don't. Okay, that's it for now. When we come back, we're going to have a look at how we start populating the account. So this bit, have a play, have some fun, make it look the way you want to. And then what we'll do is we'll start adding some actual content.